Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how center of gravity affects an aircraft. First, let's understand what is center of gravity. The center of gravity, or CG, is the point where the total weight of the aircraft is balanced. The CG shifts based on how the aircraft is loaded. One of the factors that causes the CG to shift is the cargo that is loaded on the aircraft. If the cargo is loaded towards the front, the CG shifts forward. If more cargo is loaded towards the back, the CG shifts backward. How does center of gravity affect an aircraft? The center of gravity has an influence on the aircraft's stability, maneuverability, and the fuel consumption. For an aircraft to be stable, the CG must be in front of the center of lift. The center of lift, or CL, is the point where the total lift of the aircraft acts. The CG may shift along a certain range, in front of the CL. When the CG is towards the forward section of the range, it is called forward CG. If the CG is near the aft section, then it is called aft CG. Let's look at forward and aft CG in more detail. The forward CG At the center of gravity, the weight is acting downwards, and at the center of lift, the lift is acting upwards. This force couple creates a nose-down moment. For an aircraft to fly straight and level, a downward force is required from the tail section. In case of a forward CG, a larger nose-down moment is created because the distance between the CG and CL increases. This moment should be balanced by a nose-up moment created by a downward force from the horizontal stabilizer or the elevator. The aft CG. Here, the distance between the CG and CL is less, so the nose down moment that is created will be less. In this case, less downward force is needed from the tail section, which means less deflection of the horizontal stabilizer or elevator. Let's compare forward and aft CG. Forward CG versus aft CG. As the CG moves forward, the longitudinal stability of the aircraft increases. This means the aircraft will strongly resist longitudinal disturbances. However, as the stability increases, the maneuverability of the aircraft decreases. This is because more elevator movement is required to change the pitch of the aircraft. A forward CG causes an increase in drag because of the movement of the THS and elevator for achieving level flight. The downward force from the tail section also increases the weight of the aircraft. To maintain steady flight, lift must be increased, so the aircraft must be flown at a higher angle of attack. This increases the drag and the stall speed of the aircraft. An aft CG improves the efficiency of the aircraft. This is because less force is required from the horizontal stabilizer. The aircraft needs less lift and it can fly at a lower angle of attack to balance the weight. This decreases the drag on the aircraft. Aft CG improves the maneuverability, however, decreases the longitudinal stability of the aircraft. This means the aircraft will react more to a longitudinal disturbance when compared to same disturbance on the aircraft with forward CG. The CG limits of an aircraft will be mentioned in the Aircraft Operations Handbook. Generally, a balance needs to be maintained between stability, efficiency, and operational requirements. An aft CG can be given preference because it reduces the fuel consumption, provides better control of the aircraft, 
and longitudinal disturbances can be corrected using small inputs. That's all for my video on how the CG affects an aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.